We're in Peel Park in Bradford. Um, Peel Park's a very old park, well over 100 years old, heavily landscaped park, um, and it's a very public park. So it means that as an organising um, body, Yorkshire Cyclocross, who, who put the event together, we have a very limited window in which to deliver the event. Uh, my name's Philip Ingham. Um, I'm the course director for the uh, National Cyclocross Championships here in Bradford. If you were to purpose build a venue to actually run uh, a cyclocross race on, this landscape, this topography, is, is what you're looking for. You're looking for some elevation changes, you're looking for big grassy bankings. You're also looking for a, a landscape that's well established. So this park's well over 100 years old, so we've got 100 years of leaf mulch and old grass and mud and it's also it's a very well managed park but it's a very old park and the soil is is almost unique it's it's particularly slippery in areas of the course where there's a chance of a rider sliding out or, or leaving the course so we mesh it for their security for the spectator security and meshing and wooden staking very work intensive so um, i reckon we had 30 or 40 volunteers yesterday all of them did sort of eight nine hours work literally um, dawn till dusk and um, so we're talking about hundreds of man hours of, of actual work but in a very very compressed period going to ride for Scott Racing. I do love this course in Bradford. What really makes it is the, the fact that the crowd come out. It was a really busy day today. Uh... It's a national champs jersey. I'm really chuffed. I'm really pleased. Um, I'll be racing with uh, Bruce Dalton tomorrow in the elite race. Um, I'm probably one of the few that doubles up and I think Rob Jebb who came second is also racing um, and we'll see what we can do tomorrow. Um, considering how dry it is, it's actually, you look at the course, it's slippy, it's technical and the course, the organisation is superb and the crowds, uh, Bradford always put on um, a super national championship. photographer and I'm here to cover the national um, championship, cyclocross championship. Um, I was here yesterday helping put the course out because sometimes it's nice to give something back not just come along and um, take photos so we helped put the, uh, put the fencing up yesterday and today and tomorrow we'll be here taking photographs of all the categories. Um, yeah it'd be great, it's, it's, it's really looking forward to it. it. It's quite hard work, people don't People think taking photos is quite easy, but actually the amount of walking we do and the amount of um, how cold you get and very little tea and food to drink. <laughs> but you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do anything else. We, we're very lucky to have Kinesis as a, as a sponsor for the Yorkshire series. But Kinesis have put a lot of backing into uh, into this national championships as well. As a bunch of volunteers, one thing we, we really struggle to do is obviously capture a big audience and talk to them in a modern way. We're, we're you know heads down organising the race, etc. So to have a really professional brand like that with a really good image, really really uh, full on cyclocross image, works really well for us. So it helps helps on that level. Behind me is the sea of detritus that is the pit. It's a key area for most racers and certainly the place where races are won and lost. Kinesis have been involved with cyclocross for 10, 15 years now. We've got Hannah Payton, hopefully a, a favourite for the elite women, women's race tomorrow. Uh, and I'll be taking a, a rather rearward view of the elite men's. We've got various riders from shops and, and, and people on our bikes from all over the country and our support for cyclocross has been coupled with supporting Yorkshire Cyclocross where we've supported them with pressure washers and, and bikes for the series winners. Hi, I'm Hannah Payton and um, we are in Bradford today at the UK National Championships 2017. The course here is really exciting and the, the changes they've made this year um, 
uh, are for the better. So, um, yeah, the conditions suit me at the moment. Um, I'm hoping that it doesn't rain overnight and it doesn't change too much. I rode the course yesterday and it was riding really well, so I'm going to go out again in a bit um, and see what changes have occurred with all the racing that's been happening today.